Hiya, it's Aton. I'm here in West Hollywood, standing in front of the Lloyd Wright Home and Studio. Now, this was the building where Lloyd Wright, son of Frank Lloyd Wright, lived and worked from 1927 through his death in 1978. And while he was often overshadowed by his father in his architectural career, Lloyd Wright was a terrific designer and landscape designer. So even before he moved into this in 1927, he had designed the Soudan House and the Samuel Navarro House in Los Feliz and the Derby House in Glendale Classics. While he was living here, he drafted the Wayfarers Chapel in Palos Verdes and band shells for the Hollywood Bowl. This was designed just a few years after Lloyd Wright had spent time with his father, uh, first construction supervising the Hollyhock House, uh, but also uh, helping him with his textile block houses, the Ennis, Freeman, Storer, and Millard homes. And just like those, this one uses a textile block uh, innovation, which is these pattern blocks that you can see behind me uh, over this entranceway. Now this was something that Lloyd Wright had actually introduced his father to and used it even before his dad did. Here it's used more as a decorative motif. What he did is carved in a stylized Joshua tree. The 1920s were a really interesting time for architecture in Southern California. So at the same time that you had uh, a lot of people embracing Spanish colonial style, mission revival style, that kind of connected to California's Hispanic past, you also had European immigrants like Rudolf Schindler and Richard Neutra coming and bringing European modernist ideas. So Lloyd Wright was kind of outside any of those schools, and um, while he was very much inspired by his father's work, he really developed his own distinctive style that used a lot of pre-Columbian motifs. He seemed almost like Mayan temples. Now he was also an incredible landscape architect. He had worked with the Olmsted brothers, who was a uh, famous landscape architecture firm, first in Boston and then in San Diego, before coming up to Los Angeles. He often worked in collaboration with others, but uh, this home and studio really represent the moment where he took off on his own and uh, was working completely independently and would do so for the rest of his career. Now the only major alteration that's taken place was uh, that in the 30s Lloyd Wright covered over the balcony, added a little skylight in there too. Now Lloyd Wright's son Eric Lloyd Wright restored it in the 1990s, put in a new foundation, it's safe, it's beautiful now. If you want even more history about this building and so many more, visit AtonDoesLA.com where I've got a full historic write-up. Thanks for doing LA with me.